Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I want to talk about raiding caves and how just raiding caves, it, it feels more unique and more fun than Oblivion, you know? To me, with the game that Oblivion was, it, it was all about, to me at least, creating your character and making the best character, you know? or challenging yourself with the skills, you know, things like that. Whereas Skyrim has a little bit different vibes, and I think Skyrim's more of exploring the possibilities as opposed to um, taking the possibilities and making them insanely powerful, if that makes any sense, you know. Um, so in Skyrim, one of the things that they definitely improved on compared to Oblivion was their caves and their forts and their ruins and stuff like that. I, I'm super happy. I love raiding them in Skyrim because, you know, the storytelling is really, really good compared to Oblivion, you know, the storytelling of just like, you find dead bodies or you find random notes, things like that, you know, there's more than Oblivion, you know, Oblivion you'd occasionally find, you know, like a dead goblin under a beer barrel, you'd find something like that or a skeleton pile, you know, in a troll den, but not to the level that Skyrim had. Skyrim, I think, had it way, way more. And Skyrim didn't have this weird... Um, if you watch the like the DVD of Creating Oblivion, you know this. They had this weird system of creating caves that was like... They call it like Lego pieces, and it made us all the caves feel the same, you know? Most... I mean, there's some very unique dungeons in Oblivion, but not compared to Skyrim. I mean, in Skyrim... I think one of the very, very strong points is Dwemer Ruins, man. There's to be some freaking dope Dwemer Ruins. Um, the ruins uh, with the, where there's Druggers and stuff in them, eh, not so much. I don't think those are pretty good. Uh, but caves? I mean, caves, man. Like, the thing that you would expect just a random cave to be completely normal and eh, the caves feel awesome. They're really cool. You know, there's some cool caves. And, you know, just random things where it's like it's a den of vampires and the top vampire feels level locked, so he's going to be a certain level. Or there's like the forts. I mean, the forts feel amazing because the forts aren't just a tower with one door in them. They're like all these different doors to all these different rooms of this fort, you know. And there's bandits on the outside, bandits on the inside. And they mess with you or that big toll bridge tower road thing. Uh, that you can find, I believe, going towards Whiterun? No, sorry, Winter, whatever it is. I'm, I'm not... My brain's just... Ugh. But, yeah, there's the toll... The, the place where you find abandons on the big tower that uh, a lot of new players go to and discover. You know, or the caves around Riften. Like, I think that one of the things that's really nice is, depending on where you are, if it's snowy or if it's not or next to water plays way more into the creation and the style of the caves than Oblivion. And beyond that, you know, if it's a Falmer cave, right, then the Falmer cave has the glow shrooms and different alchemical ingredients as opposed to, you know, there's stuff that undead and vampires and stuff like that where it just is more stylized, I would say than Oblivion, and I don't know about Morrowind, I haven't explored a lot of Morrowind. I would assume that it's more stylized because Morrowind's an older game, but yeah, I don't know. So yeah, I just think Skyrim has stylized caves, really well done, and it just adds so much to the game. It adds a lot to it. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a comment. What do you think of cave raiding in Skyrim? I enjoy it. I like it a lot. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.